Hello everybody and welcome to a new video game that I got called Ace Combat 7. And Ace Combat 7 is from what I've seen, it's like one of those War Thunder games, you know, skies, planes, fighting, all that stuff. I'm gonna be quiet now. It does to me a hell of a lot. When I close my eyes, the sky in my dreams is a deep, dark blue. Pilots have been in my family for four generations. Flying's in my DNA. Even so, my grandpa didn't want me joining the Air Force. He lost faith in the Ocean Air Defense the day my dad died in battle. You know, Abby, I wish you could see what it's like up there. Cruising above the clouds, the dark blue of the stratosphere. Nothing beats being at the controls and seeing it from the cockpit. Look here. Gramps tossed a magazine over to me with an article. Unmanned fighters are no longer a dream, it read. Pilots taking to the skies will soon be a distant memory. I don't see anything good coming from that. You know what? Lying smack dab in the middle of the desert west of here, there's a bunch of planes from the last war. Some of them have been mothballed, but most of them are just rusted piles of junk waiting to be scrapped. Gramps was really good friends with the super there, so he got to take whatever he wanted, no questions asked. That's how we got the parts to build our own plane. Now, when I say we, I mean me, my grandpa, and his old war buddies. I cut my teeth working with those geezers. They taught me their skills and some dirty jokes. But with their aging eyeballs and whatnot, I ended up having to do most of the work myself. I was at the airstrip doing some flight training when I saw it. A prototype drone. It wasn't much of a plane, more of a trash can with wings. Laugh at it all you want, kid. But technology's always changing. If you don't keep up with it, it'll leave your ass behind. It took six years and eight months to get that engine running. And it took us another year and a half after that to finally get the balance of the airframe just right. I'd gone from being a little girl to, well, still a girl, just older. But now, I was all alone. <sighs> Wherever the souls of my Gramps and his pals are flying, I hope it's peaceful. Then, finally, I was ready to break the sound barrier. All this plane could do was take off, accelerate, and fly up. Then I saw Osea's fighters. They were tailing something. A drone. They were going full out chasing that thing. Doing 30 Gs at least. Damn, I've never seen anything move that fast. It had a rose painted on it. The Erusian emblem. But that country's a whole continent away from here. Crap. should have been a best to see this piece of junk. Should have built a return to. Is everyone here? Settle down. 
Set settle down. You have all been instrumental in helping to maintain peace in Yuzha as members of the International Union Peacekeeping Force. Until today. Earlier, our radar site informed us that a group of unidentified aircraft was approaching. Communication systems went down immediately afterwards. We are led to conclude that they have attacked the site. Here's your mission. It's possible that the Yuzhin ceasefire agreement has been broken for the first time in over a decade. As of today, the Fort Gray's Air Base Squadron of the IUPF has been put on high alert. All members who have been ordered to sortie, fly there immediately. Find the unidentified craft, then use your weapons to round them up and force them to land. If the hostiles counterattack, then you will... What the hell was that? There's smoke! We're under attack. Numerous unidentified aircraft have burned overhead. What? How is that possible? The tank farm to the north has been bombed. Many injured. Scramble. All units, take off and eliminate the unidentified craft attacking the base. This is not a drill. Yes, that's me. Okay, hold on. Okay. So from what it looks like planes, planes, war, war between two countries. I'm a flyer. Bob 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 let's get flying. Okay, mission one. Oh, hello there. Oh. Oh yeah, this is my planes from the first time. Like I haven't see I've played the game a little bit, test it out. Wasn't really gonna make a video on it, but then I asked y'all if you wanted me to, and a lot of people wanted to see it. And then it got deleted because copyright reasons. So these are all the planes I've had before, and this is the one I'm gonna go with. Need squadron, aircraft preparations complete. Stand by at the front. So, okay. But yes, this time I'm going to actually finish the whole campaign, and y'all get to watch. So, sit back, enjoy, relax. This is going to be fun. Get those birds in the sky. Sitting ducks. What's happening? Bombers incoming. Don't know how many. Let's clear that runway. We don't got all day here. Main squadron head to runway. Column squadron take off. Just let me at him. Hurry, main squadron. Let me at him. Let me at him. Trigger your call sign is page two. Verify and read that. Okay. This, that, this, that, how do I take off again? Oh, oh okay. I'm going, I'm going. And up we go! Okay. Something I've found interesting about this game when I played it for a little bit is that they have these random dialogue. Like you just get to watch the interaction between the other people and sometimes the enemies. Sometimes you, for some reason, get to hear the um, the enemies talk in conversation. It's quite interesting. Hello, Obama. Ooh, there we go. All in the explosions are just amazing. Not bad, Mage Two. Trigger, switch your radar. See if you can locate the enemy. Okay, switching radars. There it is, sitting there, all pretty, just waiting to be taken. Mm hmm. So so far, from what I've played, this game is really interesting, and I hope y'all do. Enjoy, and if you do want more, you know how Let's to like the video, subscribe if you haven't already. Just sit back, relax, and watch me absolutely destroy these plane jets. Guys, Fabushk. 
More planes. Oh, he's dead. Destroy the target. Got two. Boom, boom, boom. Target confirmed down. Okay, good, Mage Two. Okay, 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 okay. Trigger, stay calm. Oh, there's more. I know the kid's shown some promise, but let's remember, he's still barely gotten his feet wet. Mm, whatever. Also, this is the music. The music goes with it. The music touches my heart. Just like these rockets are about to touch their face. Or something like that. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just going with it. That's three destroyed. You're next. Goodbye! Ooh. More dead. Is that all? Mission complete? Enemy bomber down. Nice going, Mage 2. Yeah, Mage two buddy. Be, Mage two. You still got a long way to go, kid. I mean, I guess it's a lot easier than the first time I did it since I now have like a faster plane. Skykeeper, this is Mage 1 over. Tally two bandits. Copy two more that. people. It's bomber and an escort. Whoa, their trigger settled down. Mage 2, maintain your element uh, with Mage 1. Do not break my. I'm going to be the best player. Alright! I missed. I've got your six covered, sir. Radio. Okay, let's not miss again. Column, mage, two new enemy groups. I hit it. And destroyed. Oh, ho, 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 Buddy. Wait, what? <laughs> Not down? <laughs> what? See, look, we got some little. We got the enemy's dialogue going on here. So we, they're erosion. Then what are we called again? I forget. There we go. Mage two splashed a bandit. Okay. Plus, fun thing is, it does. I feel like it's more realistic. Like, if you guys ever played the game War Thunder, it's it's one of those. I just feel it's a little bit more realistic. In my opinion. That is my opinion. Now time to go get all for these. No, I want these guys. I want these guys. I want to lock onto these guys. Or not. Not nice. And another one bites the dust. Boom. Where? Oh no. What's the other one with you there complaining about? There it is. Hesitating for a split second could be the difference between life and death. Stay sharp, think fast. Okay, thinking fast, thinking sharp. All of the above. I'm not even close enough. Space elevator. Come on, come on. I don't have a lot of them. Now I do. Enjoy those. That has to hit. Okay. But not good enough. Serious. There we go. Is that all? With the rest of them? We got them. It's a golem and mage. Job well done. All bombers are down. Our radar shows no sign of bandits. You're in the clear. Did it? Good yeah. Going, Flight commander looks like he's got what it takes. Let's slow down. It's just one sortie. Don't try to be a hero. I, I want am you to make a hero, it though. Back in one piece, you hear? Yeah, I gotta side with the boss man on this. Column Squadron, this is HQ. Did you confirm any drones? What's what? the deal with all the drones? 
Column 1, return to base and report for debriefing. Beautiful. Okay, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. That's the enemy. Citizens of Arugia. Oh, my god, I could activate an autopilot. Oop, cutscene. Nope, Trigger that's just me. Let's get. I know I did well. I didn't need the game to re show me how amazingly good I am in the skies. King of the sky here. Undefeated. We are currently assessing the damage to the base. We have confirmed that the aircraft carrier Albatross was sunk. We know the attacking bogies were from Arusia. International Union peacekeeping force bases all over the Yuzhin continent were attacked in the same way. The damage is severe. Many wars are lost by failing to recover from the opening blows. That means successfully retaliating was very important. You may have turned the tides of battle here. You have our thanks. Okay, well, I did good, did well, rank, next mission. We can do, we can get two missions in. As of 1 p.m. today, the Kingdom of Arugia has declared war on the Ocean Federation. We're Ocean. As soon as the I'm news broke sure. out, enemy aircraft began bombing Ocean territory, causing yeah, widespread Ocean, destruction. The Air Defense Force has released a statement saying this violent attack was carried out by drones. They speculate the drones were secretly transported to Osea in shipping containers and launched remotely. The Secretary Sneaky. of the Navy has stated that the enemy was targeting naval ports across the country. According to the Secretary, all of the nation's aircraft carriers, including one still under construction, sustained severe damage in the attacks. We have yet to hear back from the department as to the fate of Osean carriers currently at sea. Hold on, I've just received breaking news. The International Space Elevator, which is being built in southern Yuzha, has been seized by the Erusian Army. Reports say former President Harling was touring the site at the time, but his current whereabouts are unknown. Our sources in government tell us it was Harling's policies regarding the Space Elevator that caused economic frictions in the area, and which ultimately led to this war. Located near Erusia, on the continent of Yuzha, the Space Elevator has been under construction for some time now. The Executive Office of the Ocean Federation has declared a national state of emergency. They have ordered all its armed forces, including Yuzhin peacekeepers, to mobilize and make the necessary preparations to launch an immediate counterattack. Ladies and gentlemen, our country is officially at war. Mm. Stay tuned for further updates. Something you Breaking news from the NN. Osea launched an attack on the capital today, striking Farbanti from their aircraft carrier, the Kestrel II. After a brutal battle, the Erusian Air Force successfully repelled them. During the air raid, the Ocean Air Force fired missiles at the city and managed to shoot down a number of Erusian fighters. Some of the disabled planes then crashed into residential areas. Hmm. The world was screwed. Twenty years ago, the Earth got slammed by an asteroid. Yuja was on the wrong side of the planet and got hit. Hard. Refugees swarmed the Erusian Republic, the biggest country on the continent, plunging it into chaos. They were desperate and started a war, one they had no hope of winning. That's the war my dad fought and died in. The biggest nations from two continents went head to head, and the so-called righteous Oceans struck the deal that ended it. They fancied themselves the only nation that could bring peace and stability to the world. They even tried saving the Yuzhins, still suffering from the disaster. That's how a space elevator, stretching way up into the sky, ended up being built in Yuzha. Paid for by the Oceans. President Harling said he did it out of compassion for his fellow humans. But to the folks in Arusia, it looked like Osea was moving in to take over. Arusia went from being a republic, back to being a kingdom. When they started this new war, they managed to get the drop on everyone. The second the declaration hit the news, Erusian forces took control of the space elevator without spilling a single drop of blood. 
President Harling was touring the elevator when it happened and disappeared. Then, while that was going on, the Arusian ships that were docked all around Osea released a swarm of drone fighters they had hidden on board in containers. No one thought they were capable of doing what they did that day. With pinpoint accuracy, they managed to take out everything that was military, and not a single civilian was hurt in the process. Osea pissed lots of people off with their huge military presence around the world. Erugia didn't have the same reach, but they could hit their targets faster and cleaner. And when all this was going down, I just so happened to be in my flying drag racer. Wrong... bad place... bad place... definitely wrong time. In case you were wondering, yeah, I survived. Good job. I crashed in a bombed out Ocean Air Force Base, then got arrested for breaking wartime aviation laws or some crap. Mm. The world went from being at peace to being at war, all in the blink of an eye. I was tried, found guilty, and stuffed into a cargo ship. For company, I had some court-martialed soldiers. And remember those mothballed planes I told you about before? They were loaded on the ship, too. Hmm. We headed off down south for several days, and then swung east. That's how I got here. I was thousands of kilometers from Arusia, on the opposite side of the Yuzian continent. For a port, it was dull as hell. It had three rusty patrol boats. And the base? The fences were topped with razor wire. The tower had a searchlight and machine guns. And a truck with a gun turret was parked in front of the gate. Its gun was aimed at the yard. This was a prison. Ah, uh, looked like one. This place looked like a full-on base. But half the tanker trucks were just big balloons. Uh, and the runways weren't big. even paved, just painted on the dirt. The whole place was just one big fat lie. Decoy. The only reason I was here is because they knew I'd restored a supersonic plane. They wanted me to make something out of the mothballed planes they brought that they could park on the fake runway. Can you believe that shit? So, I tried to escape. Oh, and how did that go? <laughs> they found out and set the dogs on me. Mm. <laughs> Mission two. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Erusia has made a declaration to the Ocean Federation and all countries on the Yuzhen continent stationing the IUN peacekeeping force that we are now at war. Right after the declaration was made, surprise attacks began around the continent that have inflicted major damage to our armed forces. Forces aligned with Arusia are currently appearing throughout Yuzha. The combination of these forces has overwhelmed the majority of the continent, and they are now encroaching on us in the east. Additionally, the multinational space elevator has been seized by the Arusian military. After the previous war, the space elevator became both a symbol of peace and a valuable asset in the fight against growing energy concerns. Whoever has control of it will have enormous influence over the entire continent. Uh -huh. We cannot turn a blind eye to this critical situation. The Fort Gray's Air Base Squadron has been entered into the order of battle to reclaim the elevator as an advance element. First, you will attack all hostiles coming in the east of Schofield Plateau to stop any interference with the Allied ground troops. The enemy has deployed several vehicles equipped with anti-air radar along the roads. You are to destroy them. They should not pose much of a threat. However, there is a high likelihood that the attack will draw more enemy air support. If that happens, fight them off swiftly and establish air superiority. Hold down the machine! 
Okay, let's get this done with. Start. Oh, then I gotta go with this guy again. But this time we're gonna hit it with some ground things. Let's see this. Mage Squadron, Zordi, ASAP. Code name is Trigger. Gotta remember that. Charge Vietname. I don't understand anything else on here. Okay. Well, this is got a. This is the group. This is the military vehicles and anti-air weaponry. Destroy the target. But HQ has made it clear that no harm should come to civilians and no damage is to be done to public facilities. But uh, any aircraft shot down could land in civilian territory. No point arguing. That's how war is these days. That's true. Do you have visual on the anti-air radar vehicles? They should be close. Yep. Oh, I'm getting too low. Okay, and... Let's get a lock on their shoots. <sighs> it's popping off now, Trigger. The war has officially begun. I missed by accident. I thought that was gonna hit me. No, 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 nope, nope. This is it's just. Shut up! I am perfectly fine. <laughs> I did not see those jets. What we got? 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 Through the clouds. You should. Okay. I'm okay. Woo! Good kill. I just can't touch me. I'm too fast. I'm too fast. I'm way too fast. Bye! Okay, okay. Why wouldn't you? Why would y'all have an airbase without fighters? Seems a little silly to me. Crap. Don't have enough. There we go. Target destroyed. Boop! I am on a whole roll. Get the fighters out there! Protect the radar vehicles! That was kind of stupid. Anyways, I'm gonna leave that one alone. Come back for that. Radar lock acquired. Shit. Where are the damn interceptors? Hello! Goodbye! Box two. Box two. I need a. I wanted one of those ones, but okay. We can't wait any longer. We need interceptors now. Y'all don't have any. Y'all don't get that look at your Why don't I have one over here? Thank you. Target destroyed. Three to go. Continue to engage at your discretion. Whoops, I'm not even supposed to be hitting half these things. I'm just out. getting some good old hits. Try to engage in 30 seconds. Alright. Here they come. Take them down. Okay, recruits. Pay attention to who's on what side. The newest IFF is connected to our entire force via satellite. Come on, come on, come on. So okay, the okay, so I gotta take out these things. So, from what it seems like, is that the they were able to get some of their own fighters in the sky. None which are bothering me so far. Which is just my choice. Did I miss? That's not like me. Let's go call it a fluke. So we have 16 minutes to destroy all the radar vehicles. Got that. Enjoy those two. Two targets remaining. Oh, so this is as far as I've gotten. Like I said, I only done, I've only done two missions, because I didn't want to, just in case I did make a video. I didn't want to spoil it for myself. You know, spoil all the fun. I missed, but that's okay. Come on, no, I want to, <laughs> why are you guys so mean to me? Yeah, so this is as far as I've made it. I've done half of this, and then stopped. So, good thing I got some of my vehicles. 
even though it wasn't much. There's also a um, there's a vehicle skill tree for the planes that you need to get, and this is this. And this is one of the vehicles I got after doing the first mission. One of my favorite, one of my favorites so far. Gotta be that. Oh, there's many in the sky. Eat it. The clouds don't just affect your field of vision. They also mess with your HUD and radar. The Seekers can sometimes lose their mock on to their targets, too. Come on. Damn it. have to use truck and cars. So, yeah. Like oh, I yeah, said. You can use the clouds to, um, evade rockets. That's, I guess. I don't know. Um, no. In gun range. Hit it! Ah, oh, I missed! The enemy's a lovely pile of scrap. Yay, glad I could have it. H2, H2 water, water, water. They have a lock on you. Enjoy that. They have a what? Enjoy that. Oh, is that not down though? You gotta be kidding me. So far, this game is very, very beautiful. Okay. Enjoy that. Enjoy that. You are not getting up. Ooh. Nope, you're still breathing. Hold on. Let's. Let's change that real quick. Hold on. Hold on. No, 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 no. Who said, who said you come in? Come on, please. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You'll be alright. You got that? All transports have been destroyed. But what were they carrying? Good question. Well, it doesn't matter now. I think. Oh. Oh wait, what? Use the clouds, use the clouds, use the clouds, use the clouds. Just worry about staying alive for now. Five targets remaining. Ah, that was not good. Try to get a good one. Come on. That was a miss. Damn, you're a little squirmy fella. Come on. Okay. Stop moving. Not dang much. I'm taking fire. No point capable. Four targets remain. Four oh, targets with 12 minutes? I like that. I never got that one didn't work. Launched it. Alright. This base is worth destroying. Come on. Yes. One more. I think one more? UAV's ready to launch. Away. UAV's what? Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. I shit. They're bringing out their their robots. Oh great. We get to have a fight with the robots. What happened? Status report. Multiple bogeys on radar. They're close. Wait. Let's see how this goes. You're clear to engage. They're probably hostile. <laughs> Probably you don't think. Okay. 
Too long, we'll slice up. Okay, that's I guess that's not. We don't want that now, do we? Get a lock on now, please. They shoot at me. Oh god, I'm that scary as hell. I cannot see the ground. Don't ice up in there. I'm not trying to, but I also want to see the ground. Come on. Damn it. They really do throw off your rocket. Ah, oh, but that doesn't matter. Bet. I'm into my. Oh, oh. Ooh, that one wanted to kill me. I like my C3 cab. Get him, 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 get and they're all down. <laughs> down. The skies are clear. Nice work, everyone. Mission complete. RTB. No casualties. <laughs> we couldn't have done any better. Returning to base. Now, what about know. dinner? Maybe the bandits we took down caused civilian casualties. She's no point arguing. That's how warriors these days. You shoot, someone gets killed. Guys in charge, take care of the rest. Boom. And that is how you do it. Current target is on rails. Boop. Land attack cruise missiles. Large long range air to what surface cruise missiles. They produce a powerful blast and I can't read the rest of that. You've given us air superiority by destroying their radar. Of course. The first barrier keeping us from retaking the space elevator is gone. Now is the time to group up and begin the counteroffensive. Let us reclaim what is ours. Okay, so. That's the end of this. This is where I'm going to get, I can only probably do two missions at a time because of time you know but so far the game looks amazing and I hope y'all really did enjoy it and if you did you know how to show me either leave a comment or just like the video but enjoy the rest of your day or night or morning wherever you are and I'll see y'all in the next video bye